Hello, my name is Qubit Hacked. I saw a video by Panda4994 very recently uh, where he showed off an idea for an Ender Dragon XP farm, or rather, he just showed it without any explaining anything. He released it on April Fool's Day. Uh, where and just left it in the suspense if it's real or not uh, but it made me wonder if it's possible at all and I got interested in, in it and I looked into the Minecraft code and see if I could figure out something and I did actually come up with an interesting idea uh, which I thought I would share so uh, uh, yeah I think I will just go over the things I've got set up here. Whoop. Yeah. Actually, let me fly up here. So this is a normal hopper timer. It's not loaded uh, currently. So I guess I will actually load it up. Um, I will need 23 items in the hopper timer. This makes the slide here um, change state about every nine and a half seconds as you can see and uh, this is um, so a contraption to uh, teleport the ender dragon to a specific location so I'm in the current snapshot to use this it's not technically needed but it makes it a lot easier to demonstrate this so yeah <laughs> um, because obviously I don't have to worry about flying after the end of the all the time. This is a, um, just a clock with a piston that if the end of dragon rises up it get, got to, uh, gets pushed down again. It's not currently needed but it will be in a bit. Okay, so the idea here is I've got a very overpowered bow as you can see uh, that I made with NBT edit and I will use it to kill the ender dragon but just before I do this so no, yeah just before I do this I will explain uh, I'm going to log off when this light changes state so I'm going to kill the ender dragon when this light changes state and then immediately log off and log back in uh, when this line changes state again and I'm going to repeat doing this so if I do it now, I uh, need to le see the light, so wait for it. Come on. So the ender dragon dies, need to keep watching the light. And switch, uh, yeah. Get out of here, log back in. There you go. Uh, it's the Ender Dragon dies again, and as you see, it still drops all its experience. And I hope I haven't logged out too late. Ah, I haven't. Awesome. Okay. Um, I really have to be quick whenever the light changes. But yeah, and uh, the Ender Dragon. I will explain now what's going on. So the Ender Dragon is a normal mob and stores all the normal mob data but it's got a death variable a death time that is specific to the ender dragon and does not get saved in the world save so whenever i log back in then just on how java works it initializes this variable um, with zero and thus the ender dragon starts dying again however it drops ex its experience between uh, 700 and is it what 700 no 7.5 seconds and 9 seconds after it's died um well okay yeah um and it dies exactly after 10 seconds as well fully dies after 10 seconds so, I just have to log off uh, after it has dropped it, it, its experience, so after 9 seconds, but before 10 seconds. 
which I've got this light to indicate this. So I guess if I do uh, let it die a few more times, uh, well, another time, and you see the, all the experience that it accumulates down there. It's awesome. Oh yeah, I should explain this. Uh, as you can see, the Ender Dragon rises up while it's dying, and this piston contraption just is there to uh, push it down again every time. Otherwise, it would fly off. Uh, yeah, to the top of the world, um, and it doesn't render anymore, and everything gets glitchy and so on. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's needed technically. I guess I'm going to let it die now. Wow, look at this experience. So yeah. And the explosion killed the... I think it's the explosion that killed the contraption, I don't know. Well, before the X XP, let's go. Game. If I could type. Zero. Okay, so survival. You've, I've got no experience. Uh, I had no experience, and I guess I'm going to collect all this experience. Yay! I should point out, you get around 70 levels when uh, you normally kill the Ender Dragon. So let's see how much we can get here. Uh, well, it's 70 levels in the uh, new snapshot at least. Um, so yeah, get all the experience. And also, yeah, let's go to the overworld because I suspect that a lot of experience has fallen through the portal. Uh, oh, there we go. So how much can we reach? Can we go? Yeah, we have over 150. Awesome. Um... I can infinitely keep doing that pretty much. Uh, of course, if the Ender Dragon dies, it's kind of over. <laughs> and yeah. Well, I advise you to check Panda's channel if uh, when he releases his version, I guess. If he re releases a new, uh, his version of an Ender Dragon farm. And I hope I see you again sometime. So, thank you for watching.